There are almost always some trading contract vacancies being advertised on Law Careers Now, no matter what time of year it is, but the busiest period by far is from the end of May to the end of July. This year, 180 firms have set their application deadlines during these two months. Uh, check the Law Careers Net deadlines page to see which firms are hiring. When you apply for a training contract, it is so important to take the care and time necessary for it to be successful. Here's our Law Careers Net guide to successful applications, and this advice applies whether you're applying for a training contract or a vacation scheme. Step one, decide where you want to train. Solicitors' jobs vary hugely, depending on which area of the profession you go into. Hopefully, you already have some idea of what kind of lawyer you want to be. Are you interested in commercial law, for example, or crime, or civil liberties? The answer to this question will decide what type of firm you should apply to, and the next step is to find the right firm for you, or other employer, for example, commercial company or a local government, if you're interested in a non-legal practice. Uh, location will obviously be important in deciding where you want to train, but you should also think carefully about other factors, such as whether you want to be part of a large or small trade intake. Find out as much as you can about what it would be like to work at the firm. Going to an open day, meeting people from the firm at law fairs and other campus events and reading up about the firm online are all good ways to do that. The best way of all is to get onto a vacation scheme which will give you first-hand experience of the firm's working environment. Vacation schemes will often end with a training contract interview and some firms recruit only through their schemes so they really can be critical, it can be so important to get on a scheme. Step 2. What is your best self? Employers are all different, but they are all looking for candidates who will make good solicitors, which means you will need to show that you have the key skills for the job, including that you're a good communicator and can work in a team, and that you have some commercial awareness. All work experience and any extracurricular activities that you've been involved in are relevant. Key skills like communication, teamwork and attention to detail are all transferable. So think about when you have used these skills before that so that you have examples to use in your applications. For example, catering jobs, bar work, working in retail, all involve key professional skills that law firms are looking for. Don't make the mistake of thinking firms are only looking for legal work experience and glamorous uh, volunteering opportunities and overseas experiences. They aren't. Think carefully about what skills you have used and how they could apply to law. Don't leave out work experience because you think it isn't relevant. A good way to get a better understanding of everything you have to offer is to set up a free MyLCN account on Law Careers Net. The MySelf tool enables you to save all your experiences, as well as things like academic grades, in one place. And if you need to improve in a particular area, it will show you where. Having everything in one place should also make putting together the various ingredients of an application a bit easier. Step 3. Tailor your, your application to the individual firm. There is no point in sending the same application off to 20 firms. You'll probably just receive 20 rejections. Every application you make needs to be different, reflecting the individual firm you are applying to. You need to be able to explain not just why you want to be a solicitor, but why you want to be a solicitor at that firm. To do that, you need to research every firm you apply to. What are its main types of work? Make sure that you refer to them in your application. Uh, can you find out who some of the firm's clients are? Find out as much as you can about how the firm works as a business. And if you can show recruiters that you understand the firm you are applying to, you will have a strong chance of impressing them. Step four, answer the question. Before starting an application form, read every question and plan what you are going to say in each one. Don't repeat yourself across multiple questions. Equally, it is so important to try to answer the actual question on the form, not just write the answer you want to write. Firms want to see attention to detail and the ability to engage with the questions they're asking, so think carefully about what the question wants you to do. For example, if you're being asked to describe a time that you overcame an obstacle or a challenge, you need to choose the right example from your experiences and present it in a way that directly answers the question. That goes for both when you're talking about your achievements and when you're talking about the firm and its business. Never just paste what you want to include for that question uh, which you've already decided beforehand. Make sure that you are fulfilling the brief of what the question is asking. Step five, focus your efforts. If you are taking the right approach to applications, they will take up a lot of time and effort. It is far better to send out five or 10 carefully put together applications than 30 copy and paste jobs. 
only apply to a firm if you can show a real interest in working there and have done all the preparation I've just mentioned. Otherwise, it's just going to be a wasted effort. And remember, there is much more information and advice about applications, interviews, work experience and more on Law Careers Net if you need help. So make sure that you use our resources and best of luck in your applications.